All right. John chapter 15, 5 to 6. Okay. Let us start with these verses. Hallelujah. Actually, I have prepared, uh, I already prepared a message. <laughs> generation passed away, a new generation grew up that had not personally experienced the Lord's presence or seen what he had done for Israel. A new generation. So, in this short, ane dalam beberapa ayat ini, dia bagitahu kita ada dua group. Generasi Joshua, and the new generations. During Joshua generation, they worship the Lord. Yeah. Because what? Sebab mereka melihat, pernah melihat apa yang Tuhan Allah lakukan bagi mereka ketika Tuhan membawa mereka daripada Egypt ke Promised Land. Yeah. Nah. So they know God personally, they have seen what he has done, two things. Yeah. But the new generation, new generation itu, the Bible says in verse 10, they don't know God, they don't know what he has done for the people. Mereka tidak tahu, mereka tidak kenal Tuhan, mereka tidak tahu apa yang Tuhan telah lakukan bagi. So you see the, the, the old generation, Joshua generation, Tuhan, Allah, tolong mereka conquer the promised land. Tapi, what happened to the new generation yang tidak kenal Tuhan, tidak tahu apa yang Tuhan telah lakukan bagi mereka, they don't have no relationship with God. What happened? Still remember what I what we read in John 15, 5 and 6, I am the vine, you are the branches. 
if you remain in me, you will bear much fruit. Without me, you cannot do anything. Right? <clears throat> now, what happened to the new generation? In verse 11, Judges 2, two verse 11, what happened? Yeah, from verse 11. The Israelites did evil before the Lord by worshipping the Baal. Apa jadi? When you do not know your God and when you do not know what your God has done for you or for your father, for your mother, for your grandfather, grandmother, what happened? Kalau kamu tidak ada, two things mentioned here. No personal relationship and no knowledge of God. Yeah. What happened? They, the children of Israel did what which was evil in the sight of Jehovah and served the bad in Baal. Okay, in verse 12. They abandoned the Lord God of their ancestors who brought them out of the land of Egypt. They followed other gods, the gods of the nation who live around them. They worshipped them and made the Lord angry. Senang saja. Actually, to understand. If you don't worship the Lord God, you will worship others. Very easy. Kalau kau tidak menyebab, Kalau kau tidak worship, kalau kau tidak ada personal relationship with God, then you have, you will serve other things. Yeah. So what happened to this generation? They do not know God, they do not know what God has done for them, for their fathers. Verse 13, they abandoned the Lord and worshipped Baal and the house okay. What happened in verse 14? Because of what they have done, the Lord was furious with Israel and handed them over to robbers who plundered them. He turned them over to their enemies who lived around them, and they could not be spent. Their enemies attacked. This is what happens when you abandon good, when you stay away, when you do not have relationship with God. In verse 15, whenever they went out to fight, the Lord did not did them harm, just as he had warned and solemnly vowed he would do. They suffered greatly. What is the cause? What is the cause? No relationship. Yeah, no relationship. Tidak ada hubungan dengan Tuhan Allah. Now let us check ourselves. Do we have relationship with God? How do you know you have a relationship? Satu ialah kita ada friend. Di Facebook friend lah. Kan? We have many friends in Facebook. Or in our WhatsApp, we have many lists. Many friends. Or maybe we are one of, one of the members in the group. Yeah. <clears throat> so that is association. Yeah. Oh, saya pun dalam grup itu. Tapi kalau kena tanya, if you are asked, hey, do you know any one of them? Do you know their story? Do you know where they are staying? Do you know it? So do you have a relationship with this one? You are associated with but you do not know. Yeah. 
I made the surprise last night. I made the surprise. Um, <clears throat> I never met. I never met her. Yeah, but we were classmates. Uh, not classmates. Schoolmates. Yeah, that was uh, 1981. <laughs> Some people <laughs> from 81 to 84. <laughs> Somehow, I, I know that dia punya anak, doctor, become doctor, and he is serving in one of the private clinic di Kuala Sana. So, uh, last night, because saya punya youngest, dia suffered a very uh, painful year because of dia punya fever, kan? dia punya bukan fever. So, my wife says you can present them to the clinic. So, itu pun, oh dekat pukul 10 sudah. <laughs> Mana lagi klinik buka? Yeah. So, uh, I know there is one family clinic in Tampaluri that I used to go. Yeah. Bukan selalu lah. Uh, so I heard, okay, then I, 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 I remember, hey, this uh, schoolmate of mine, dia punya anak, uh, Ryan, he is looking for this clinic. Yang ni layang-layang di sana. Ini layang-layang keluar. So I, because I, because I didn't know. Actually, she didn't tell me, but I know from uh, discussion, from group discussion. Because they mentioned Dr. Ryan Kinker. So <coughs> I brought some mango, sent my daughter there, and then my and then I said uh, after the checkup, then I said to Dr. Ryan, hey, give this one to your mom. Hey, kau kenal kan saya punya mama? Kau kenal kan saya punya mama? Now we was there. I said we was <laughs> then after that, uh, when I then I uh, I just. <laughs>